heading into this match, obviously, since Loud went through the upper bracket, they had the chance to, you know, uh, get the map bans and banning Fracture and Split to good maps for you guys recently. It seemed like a tough scenario. How, how were you guys able to sort of fight through that on maps, especially Breeze, where you've had some issues with it recently? For at least Breeze, I can say uh, after the Zeta, Zeta BO5, uh, we just dry run for like two hours after the match just to we, we figured they had to pick breeze like it makes the most sense so we just did our best to prepare the t side at least and then ct side i just kind of did it on the fly before the match and then that, that was basically our whole preparation for that game hi uh this question's for fns a little existential one i was just wondering what does this win kind of mean to you in terms of your legacy and also kind of optic in general i mean this is definitely the most relevant win i've ever gotten so it means a lot to me personally but even for optic i think it's huge considering we literally just merged you know we were envy before that so it just feels good to have this roster get a championship because it felt earned you know, it felt earned for a while and it felt like we were grinding enough and practicing enough to where we reached a championship level. So I'm glad that we finally won. Not many people consider you the favorite for these Masters. What does winning mean to each and every one of you? For me personally, we've been working super, super hard, like behind the scenes and just grinding every day, six days a week, sometimes like seven. And it just means the world that, you know, we can 3-0, 3-0 the finals like that and yeah, I, just a bunch of emotions for me, honestly. Uh, yeah, I said it before, um, but we know what it feels like to lose in the grand finals, so in the 3-0 fashion too. So I feel like that was really, or personally for me, that helped me push over the edge today. It just feels like, uh, no, it feels incredible, the fact that we were we work so hard and it pays off, you know? There's been times where I've worked hard and that you know, it, sometimes you just come so short that you just come up just short, um, like 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 Vic said in the last final. So to be able to get into another grand final and not mess it up this time around shows a lot of composure on our part, especially because we didn't have the veto advantage. We don't play Breeze. It's not a map that we play. So we had to literally go into a server yesterday for two hours to to fix it. And so and it was right after a Bo5, you know. So we earned this win. Yeah, feels amazing. All our hard work pays off, and we finally have the trophy that was long overdue. This feels really deserved for us. We worked super hard, and yeah, just a huge pat on the back for all of us. We, we really deserve this one. Both you and Loud typically dominated the um, one half or the other um, to a more extreme extent than what you would typically see when a map is attack-sided or defense-sided. What do you think contributed to those, you know, extremes? Good communication throughout the whole game and making sure we're level-headed while we're playing. And um, yeah, we basically just made sure we were on top of things at all times. Optic has had a uh, a pretty significant, you know, few months since merging uh, with Envy. So this is really just for any of you guys. How does it feel to, to add another championship to an already really successful stretch? Uh, I mean, for me personally, it feels good because I used to be an Optic in Counter-Strike back in the day and I was unable to get Hex a trophy back then. So now that I finally was able to help do that, you know, it feels really good to bring that to him. Optic basically got me into esports, like where I got the whole idea of esports that, you know, professional gaming and stuff. Their, their initial Call of Duty team was what, you know really really brought my career and just my, got me my head start here so it feels pretty good to like you know return the favor to the same organization that you know i i basically started with is this optic squad the best na squad na squad that the world's ever seen 100 percent. we're we're definitely the best and i'm sure a lot of people know it uh it's very difficult to beat us and uh I think we're we're more difficult to beat than any other north american team throughout the series uh in all three maps, you guys had the lead heading into the half. And even though Loud fought back in all three halves, you guys managed to you know close it off and prevent any potential comebacks with the last two rounds being a little bit closer because of uh, overtime. Uh, what was the sort of, if there was one thing to point to in your way of you know staying focused in, that, in those last two maps specifically, what would it be? We never felt out of control. Um, I personally, as a caller, never felt like I was powerless 
in any situation and any of the leads they might have had or com like any comebacks they might have had. So even then when they were crawling back on bind, for example, and they kind of had like a 10-8 lead or something like that, I still felt completely in control. I just kept telling my team, we should be winning these rounds. Every round that we've lost, we should be winning. And everyone knew that. So same with Ascent, same with Breeze. It just felt like we were tossing more rounds than they were actually winning. Um, so we just didn't ever feel like we lost control of the win. Uh, we felt like we had in our grasp the whole time. This one's for, for a finesse. Um, when, when you guys first started this team, you told me um, that you felt a little bit slept on as a leader when, when a bunch of these Valorant teams were, were forming. How does it feel to uh, be able to deliver uh, a championship now? If, I mean, I don't care what other people think, but I am happy that I was able to deliver a championship to this organization and to my teammates uh, to help do that because they mean more to me than the opinions of like other people, right? So for me, it just means a lot to be able to prove that we belong as, uh, you know, in the championship category and have championship pedigree because that's something even we didn't know we had until we won here today. So um, it feels good. It feels like we actually accomplished something great and we'll only gain momentum from this. And, you know, now that we know we can win a championship, it's only going to help us. This question's primarily for chat. I just wanted to talk about the final moments of the game on Breeze. It was 13-12 and the team took a timeout. Would you be able to talk about what that brief pause was used for? Was it a way to calm nerves that entered the team being one round away from winning Reykjavik? Or was it just used as an opportunity to throw loud off during a pressure situation? I would say it's a little bit of both. <clears throat> like I try to use timeouts in high pressure situations so the other team overthinks what they need to do next. And also, I like to try to calm a setup that we could run. So in that round, we ran a completely random setup. Uh, we like open up the door to spot the halls information. So yeah, I just try to make sure we can have a good plan going to the next round that I can get everyone confident in believing in. Hey guys, congrats on the win. Um, I have a question for anyone. Um, firstly, is NA the best region? And secondly, do you think that you've earned the region a third spot at future events. Uh, I hate to say it, but EMA is a better region. Uh, I can maybe add to that. Uh, <laughs> just because in, in scrims, when we play here, everyone is so talented and good. That it honestly improved us a lot uh, it's just scrimming here throughout the whole event. And yeah, I got to hand it that EU teams are very, very good. Where I feel like a little bit of protocols and stuff are missing from NA teams. So as long as there's a lot of footage out there now, so I feel like a lot of teams can catch up in NA now. But for now, yeah, I would, I would give it to Europe. They're still pretty good, but we de we definitely deserve an extra slot for sure. Question for FNS: How heavy is the trophy? <laughs> it's pretty fucking heavy, man. It's pretty heavy. It's heavier than I thought it would be for sure. Neither team was able to um, convert many timeouts into winning the next round. Was there anything in particular you guys did when Loud took a timeout? to deny them an opportunity to win that next round? I wouldn't really say anything. We really said like anything like special. It, it was just kind of like, usually when you take a timeout, you're going to try something different. So we kind of just, we, we had some predictions or reads on like uh, what they might try to do next. Then we just kind of played with that. But I, nothing in particular, really. My question is for Chet. You mentioned after, after you guys won that you want to take full advantage of Fade going forward. And I know it's still early on, but I was just wondering how you think she might shake up the meta. Uh, I unfortunately have no clue what she does, but I'm always down for something crazy. So you'll, you'll probably see it from us, uh, if I think it's good at least. I, I have no idea right now. Uh, this question is from Marv. I uh, just want to ask you, who's better under pressure, Optic Gaming or Trey Young in playoffs? <laughs> Optic Gaming. <laughs> for sure. Trey Young is not that clutch. He's clutch, but he's not that clutch. Not as clutch as us. This one's for Victor. After playing so well on Neon the whole tournament, was it a little disappointing that you didn't get to play Neon today? Yeah, for sure. Um, I remember after the videos came, I was like, Chet, not a single Neon map, Chet? <laughs> so yeah, I was a little disappointed, but yeah. I mean, there was one. There, they just there was didn't a raise in there, actually. Wasn't uh, Haven in it? Yeah, Haven uh, was last. Yeah. Haven was last, they just didn't get there.